Blackwell. While you were doing all of this pioneering work in medicine, there was also a women's rights movement coming in. Talk to us about your experience with that. The women's rights movement was occurring right 20 miles away from where I was in medical school. In 1848, Seneca Falls occurred, and, and that was when they had the Declaration of Sentiments. And all of those were passed uh, unanimously, except for the one about voting. There was more controversy about that. It was passed, but it was not unanimous. Um, but I was not involved then. My, my interest was in, in the profession of medicine. When I was in Paris, I had a letter from my sisters who had attended the Worcester Convention, the first women's rights convention in 1850, and they told me all about it. And they had used my name uh, because there was some discussion about women in the professions. And I was not, I was less than enthusiastic, I guess I would sort of define it because I thought there was too much anti-male sentiment in that convention, and I realized that justice required for everyone, men and women, and um, too many men had helped me get to where I was in, in my profession, and so I wasn't willing to just go along with it. This, of course, was a bit controversial because my brother was married to uh, Lucy Stone. Henry, his wife was Lucy Stone, who was one of the most prominent uh, women's writers in the country. And my other brother was married to Antoinette Brown Blackwell, and she was the first congregational minister in the United States, woman minister in the United States. So we had a lot of uh, burning issues in our larger family. Mm -hmm. But I, I was not out there in terms of the suffrage movement because I, I must admit I concentrated my energy efforts uh, on opening the profession of, of medicine to women. And you certainly did. You've accomplished so much during your career. You were the first woman to get an MD degree in this country. You started an infirmary for women in New York City. You started a dispensary for women. You started a medical school for women and then increased the standards for medical education. Then you went to England and repeated all of that. Do you have any final words for us? I do. It wasn't easy being a pioneer, but it sure was fascinating. A hundred years hence, women will not be what 